it may sound really hard to take off old habits. After all, it is a lot of work. Yeah, there are some things that are pretty easy for us to take off. Like our stinky socks. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> or a winter coat when we walk inside to the nice warm air. But when we're talking about taking off bad habits and putting on new ones, now that's a tough job. But a super important one. You're so right, Chuck. Putting on new good habits will help us live how God wants us to. And to help you really understand, we've put together a pretty sweet example. Just because we're ho ho ninja masters and have some pretty sweet ninja skills, we still need to be reminded of exactly what we need to stop and start doing. So. Take exhibit A, the ice cream sundae. Sundays are the best, right? Normally, yes, but not this one. Let's have a closer mm. look. As you can see, we have a good start with some vanilla ice cream. But if you really get to looking at it, you can see there's some pretty yucky stuff getting in the way. Which is kind of like when we start with having a good heart that wants to do what's right, but we also have some bad habits that start to make their way to the surface. But if we remove all of these bad things, like lying. Ugh. <laughs> and saying unkind words? Ugh. Or even holding on to bitterness? Hey, I've been looking for that. Huh. <laughs> we'll start to get to a place where we can replace those bad things with good ones. Like telling the truth. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> or saying nice things. Oh. <laughs> Forgiving others. Oh, yum. <laughs> oh, oh, and we can't forget the cherry on top, which is like putting on love. Mm. And I do love cherries. <laughs> <laughs> Putting on new habits is the way to becoming a master ninja. But more than that, it's the key to living life the way that God wants us to. So, the next time you've got one of those bad habits that you need to take off, remember how great. Hmm. And? <laughs> I believe Chuck said, and delicious mm. it can be when you replace that bad habit mm. with a new one. But, hey, mm. man, save some of that for me. Oh, geez. <laughs> Sorry, friend. <laughs> mm. Konnichiwa. Congratulations on completing all of the ninja challenges. You have learned the importance of taking off old, bad habits and putting on new, good habits. As a true ninja warrior, you must always remember your training and never turn back to your old ways. In the book of Acts, we learn how we can impact the world when we take off the old and put on the new. There was once a man named Saul. Saul was angry and hated people who followed Jesus. Saul hated them so much that he even asked for permission to start putting them in jail. But while he was on his way to do just that, something amazing happened. A bright light flashed around him. Saul fell to the ground and heard a voice say, Saul, Saul, why are you hurting me? Saul didn't know who the voice was, but then it said, I am Jesus. I am the one you are hurting. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. But when Saul got up, he couldn't see. Saul's friends helped him up and took him to the city like Jesus had said. While Saul was in the city, Jesus spoke to one of his followers in a dream. His name was Ananias. Jesus told Ananias to go meet Saul and put his hands on Saul's eyes so he could see again. But Ananias was so scared. Jesus knew what was going to happen, so he told Ananias to go and not be afraid. So that's exactly what he did. Ananias went to Saul and placed his hands on him. 
Immediately, Saul was able to see again, and he was so happy. Because of all that had happened, Saul believed that Jesus was God's son and decided to take off his old, sinful habits and put on new ones. At that point, Saul's life was changed forever. He was baptized and started learning more about Jesus. Saul traveled the world and told others about God's love. To become a ninja warrior, you must always remember to take off the old and put on the new.